Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. When ASML's EUV lithography machine became a nuclear weapon in the global chip war in a gray factory in Zhongjiang, Pudong, Shanghai, a group of Chinese engineers were debugging a two-story big guy. This machine is called SSA-600, a lithography machine made by China. Although its accuracy is not as good as ASML's top equipment, it can also enable 28 nanometers chips to be mass-produced. For example, the Kirin 9000's chip used in Huawei Mate 60 Pro was made by this steel behemoth. Shanghai Microelectronics and Domestic Lithography Machine Breakthrough Shanghai Microelectronics' main business is actually packaging lithography machines, accounting for 40% of the global back-end market. This kind of equipment is like installing doors on a built car. Although it does not involve core manufacturing, it is indispensable to the entire industry chain. What really made Shanghai Microelectronics famous was the first front-end lithography machine they delivered in 2020. This equipment which can depict 90 nanometer circuits, marks that China finally has the ability to manufacture its own core chip equipment. Although 90 nanometers may sound backward, it is actually an important step towards more advanced processes. For example, the automotive-grade MCU chips produced by SMIC using this technology broke the foreign monopoly and was successfully installed in BYD's car steering wheel. And Shanghai Huahong's RF chips have reduced the cost of domestic 5G base stations by 30%. In the process of conquering 28 nanometer equipment, engineers came up with a new trick, using the technology of alternating exposure of double workbenches, and the production efficiency reached a level similar to that of similar equipment of ASML in the Netherlands. This key component, known as the heart of the lithography machine, comes from Huashua Jinka, a company incubated by Tsinghua University. The awakening of the supply chain behind the rise of domestic lithography machines. The lithography machine is known as the crown of industry. It has 70,000 parts and involves more than 5,000 suppliers. The breakthrough of Shanghai Microelectronics is the awakening of China's entire supply chain. These seemingly inconspicuous industrial teeth have formed the world's third largest lithography machine industry cluster in Pudong. When ASML's President Peter Wynne warned that isolating China would destroy the industrial chain, he probably didn't expect that the Zero Two Project Alliance established by Shanghai Microelectronics and 40 suppliers has built a localized network covering 80% of the components. The domestic challenge of 28 nanometers lithography machines in the SME laboratory, a special set of data reveals a cruel reality. The localization rate of 28 nanometers lithography machines has reached 72%, 
but the most critical projection, Lenz still has to rely on the technology of German Zeiss. This system composed of 20 fused quartz lenses requires that the flatness error of each lens cannot exceed 0.1 nanometers. This is like the ups and downs on the railway tracks from Beijing to Shanghai cannot exceed a hair. This gap cannot be solved by throwing money. An EUV lithography machine needs to accumulate 1 billion experimental data. An ASML has 23,000 patents for plasma light source technology. Shanghai Microelectronics is taking a different approach. They have developed a nanoimprint device in cooperation with the Institute of Optoelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, trying to bypass the traditional lithography route and directly stamp the circuit pattern on the wafer. This revolutionary technology may change the rules of the game. Standing in the shaking yellow lithography workshop, watching the robotic arm feed the 12-inch silicon wafer into the domestic lithography machine, you will deeply understand the significance of this breakthrough battle when the ultraviolet laser of SSA-600 begins to carve the circuit. It is not just the nano-level lines that are flashing, but also showing the innovative will of a manufacturing power. From 90 nanometers to 28 nanometers, from catching up to running now, Shanghai Microelectronics has spent 20 years proving that the mirror of the lithography machine, which reflects the industrial strength, will eventually reflect the panoramic view of China's science and technology. As Qian Shuesen wrote in the conception of Spirit Realm back then, Chinese people must not only have technology, but also understand the laws of technological development. On this road filled with the smell of photoresist, China is writing its own answer. In short, the domestic SSA 600 lithography machine has achieved mass production of 28 nanometers chips, and Shanghai Microelectronics has made breakthroughs in front-end lithography technology with a localization rate of 72% but it still needs to rely on German Zeiss technology. Shanghai Microelectronics is developing nanoimprint equipment, trying to bypass the traditional lithography route, showing the innovative will of Chinese manufacturing.